Hello guys, I'm back. So today we are going to make a comparison between Blender EV SSGI on Blender 4.1, Blender EV Next in 4.2 Alpha, I guess is the latest, uh, and D5, right? Why we are still talking about EV while we have all those options out there for real time? Because I've been testing all of them and sincerely uh, there are a bunch of things that we have to take in consideration when it, we are talking about ArcBeast, right? And one of them is that D5 is a great render engine, Twinmotion is a great render engine, but they have some flaws and I'm going to point out here the flaws that I've been noticed on them and why I think EVE is still something to be considered especially because this is in development and if the Blender Foundation guys goes into the right direction because I think they are kind of going but there are some things that we want to talk about here uh, it will be a great thing for Blender I still think EV is a great is a great thing for Blender and I'm gonna sh uh, show you why okay this is EV next this is gonna be our first render right it's just a regular scene, right? This is just a regular scene with uh, one, two, three, four lights, right? Lighting on. I replicated the same thing with the same lights in D5, so I will show you, right? So now let's see. That's the camera, right? I'm gonna be straightforward. I will render this one, okay? And we will see how long it would take. That's another comparison. And yeah, guys, let's see what what we are gonna get it. Oh, come on, EV next. Then that's it next. I think it's good. It's not bad at all, right? I can I can see some some products, especially for not high end ArcVis, uh, being delivered with this level of quality when here we still see some noisy uh i did all my settings are the maximum right uh, i don't think i think just the sampling are not the maximum because i want to have a kind of reasonable sampling but it still is high the default is 60 okay so that's the quality we get okay let's leave now even next and go to EV 4.1 SSGI. So EV next took how long it took to render? So 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Okay. This is EV or this is Blender 4.1 EV SSGI, right? Which is uh, being developed in parallel to EV next. EV next is the official from Blender Foundation. In uh, SSGI is an add-on that has been developed for Blender for a while and I feel myself that even uh, the SSGI is at this time is more consistent than EV Next and I will show you why okay let's so let's go and render this and see how it wants to take So that is, that's the thing. They are implementing uh, the screen space GI, which is old technology. But this old technology, guys, don't get full of this. This is still can, this is still can be very much close to photorealistic, depending on what you are doing. Okay. So this is even X. Oh, this is EVSS GI, right? So you can see here there is no noisy at all, and everything is cleaner. We will make this comparison later, right? Now let's go to D5. So this is D5, right? I in here I try to replicate the lights, so I have the same amount of lights, right? On my scene. And voila. Let's render this and see how it goes. Okay. Let's replace this one so you guys will see the progress in real time because there's no foolish things here you see what you get okay let's check this out 
it will be probably rendered faster than EVNX and EVSS Jack. Let's see. Okay, it took 22 seconds. 22 seconds, right? So now let's make the comparison between all of them. Okay, so this is EV SSGI, right? This is EV SSGI. Let me save this here. Uh, SSGI. JPEG. SSGI. Okay, let's close this and go here to EV next save us the same thing next okay now let's go to the real deal right the comparison okay so let's bring them first ev next here second ev ssgi here okay next ssgi and in the middle we are gonna grab our twin motion version okay so let's first compare both ssgi and uh, ev next right so that's next that's ssgi so first thing guys look the shadows in the walls the shadow casting here the shadow casting all over this panel right look the reflections in evs sgi look the reflection in ev next right look how it looks the translucent objects here and here i think here is much better i think these areas here are much more consistent look at this look at this right we can see definition of the reflections here we don't see any leaking light here or reflections in here. We see a little bit in EV next and look at the materials here, right? I think both are really good in terms of uh, depth of field, but look the material in EV SSGI and EV next. Sincerely to me, SSGI still stands out a lot compared with even next at, at least at this stage and the reflections are better but still not perfect in ssgi and i will show you as well why and it's not perfect in d5 neither okay so let's go here to d5 so that is what is the d5 d5 image oh windows come on windows here we go. So EV SSGI, for my personal uh, feelings, it won against EV next. Let's see EV against D5. Look at look at D5. I understand the hype around D5. Look the reflections on D5. It looks correct, right? It looks better than here, right? I mean, in terms of uh, how bright it is, but it's still it's not good, and I will show you why. This is most more crispy. Than here however everything here in EV looks more realistic right this looks more realistic than this look this area here look at this area here this is more photorealistic no one can no one you you can't contest this right so look even how the shade in the model is expressed here oh Come on, Windows. Okay, let me open this again. Right, so. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, if you go here. Oh, my goodness. If you go here, right, look how the geometry is expressed in both blenders here is much more realistic in blender is much more realistic i'm sorry guys i know we all love d5 look the shadows here look the shadows here and i'm telling you this is a steal in d5 in a video is even worse the quality so 
as SGI inhibit took, took 15 seconds, the resolution is the same in both. Uh, and in D5 took 22 seconds. So EV is still winning a lot in terms of photorealistic quality over, over D5. In time, is still standing up over D5 as well. Uh, and the video, that's the most important thing. Video in D5 lost lots of quality compared with steels, right? So we love the five. I know everyone. We love the five. We love to use the five. But that's why don't lose your hope in EV because EV is a great render engine. It's not just about screen space reflection. There are lots of things going on in the background that makes the render looks good. This to me is pretty close to cycles, sincerely. And this is more close to some something between game feeling and some it's it's good right but it's not for me i don't think this is photorealistic and now i'm gonna show you the flaws of ev the ssgi look at this right so that's the scene in ssgi so the flaws here the reflection looks similar but it's not the same it's not capturing the reflections it's not capturing the translucency and we have some issues going here okay and then see ah uh, d5 then is much better i don't think so let's go d5 okay let's go d5 the reflection looks better there is no issue however this is i'm sorry it's not what you have here this is a simplification of the reflections so you don't have the same that you don't have the refraction here and you don't have the shadows going on here, you know, it's just a fake, it's just a simplification of what you should reflect. It's not the real reflection, okay? So still, it doesn't solve the problem. Look at this. This is not the same. Look at that. That's not what is happening here. So do you guys understand what I'm talking about? Don't lose your hope in EV because EV is coming, even next has the same problem problem with the reflections if you want to check it out uh, let's check it out here in real time this is even next so the reflections still the same issue right so if blender foundation catch up with the reflections for the, the the problem in the reflections if they can they can make the reflections uh more close to what's real and solve the problem of the mirror uh, in a satisfying way that will help a lot uh, because the probes the the system of probes in even next I'm not using any probes here but the probes helps a lot and they are so quick so quick that we don't have that problems in baking time anymore right so I think it's going in a in a good direction but I think they should take a look on SSGI and grab something from them because the solution in SSGI is more reliable, it's more solid, and it's still giving me the better look I ever seen in EV. Yeah? Okay, guys, I hope you like this video and see you soon. Bye bye.